What do you have to say as a lawmaker now being viewed as a lawbreaker? An exclusive video of a local lawmaker just moments before he went behind bars. Only Channel 2 was there when State Representative Ron Reynolds surrendered to authorities today in Montgomery County. Reynolds was convicted of barratry, also known as ambulance tracing. And he is doing jail time. He could still be behind bars when he goes up for re-election in November. Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz live in Fort Bend County, an area that Reynolds represents. Mario? Dominique, State Representative Ron Reynolds has represented this very district since 2011, and he only has plans to do so moving forward, even if it means from behind bars. Mr. Reynolds, you are a state representative. You are also in handcuffs. What do you have to say as a lawmaker now being viewed as a lawbreaker? Do you have anything to say, sir? Do you plan to resign, Mr. Reynolds? Questions like these cannot get much worse for a politician. After Channel 2 investigates captured video of State Representative Ron Reynolds being led away in handcuffs to serve a one-year prison sentence at a Montgomery County jail. The reaction began to flow. The Texas Democratic Party stating, no politician is above the law. Today, Representative Reynolds took responsibility for his actions and facing the consequences. When will indicted Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton do the same? Republicans pouncing from across the aisle. State Party Chair James Dickey telling Channel 2 Investigates Democrats should be demanding the resignation of State Representative Ron Reynolds, who went to jail today for taking advantage of people using ambulance chasing tactics. The Republican Party of Texas demands his resignation. Constituents back in his district in Missouri City did not mind weighing in with their opinions. Will you vote for a state representative that represents you who is in jail? No. Well, when we did, I still vote for him. We put them in office to represent us. They should represent with high standards, as expected. He's, he's still going to run. Should he step down? In this situation, yes, he should step down. Yeah, some strong opinions there. And keep in mind this morning when Ron Reynolds woke up, he was the overwhelming favorite in this district. So it will be interesting to see how things proceed moving forward. One final note, and to provide some perspective, from where I stand is approximately an hour and a half's drive from where Ron Reynolds will call home for potentially up to the next year, a jail cell in Montgomery County. Reporting live in Missouri City, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.